Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Boom! Timer ready. TNT. Um, I've read online that uh, two celebrities were teaming up to get into the cannabis industry. Um, okay. I mean, one, I guess, is already existing, and another started a new company and bought a majority stake. Okay. Have you heard about this? A lot of celebrities are getting into the cannabis industry. This is a very unlikely duo. It is. Steve Urkel? <laughs> Steve Urkel and Adele. No. Uh, Mike Tyson. Yes. And Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. So I didn't realize, I knew there was a song called Ric Flair Drip, uh, and I didn't realize that that was the name of his weed company. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. and then Mike Tyson started and bought a stake in, in Ric Flair's weed company. So now, like, are there any two, like, more, less likely people to, like, <laughs> be Ric Flair and Mike Tyson hanging out? Like, wow, my mind goes to so many places from that, from that intro. So, uh,. I mean, lots of lots of celebrities are getting into it. Did you know there actually is a Steve Urkel? Oh, Steve Urkel weed? Yeah. Oh, no, I he's didn't. He's got he's got that Urkel purple. Urkel purple. Or it's called Purple Urkel or something, I think, either way. But Should yeah. have been called Jaleel's Deals. <laughs> no, he's going with the Urkel memes. But, yeah, there, that actually is a, a, a uh, weed uh, line that has come out. Snoop Dogg did a, uh, a little, little promo with Queen him. It was pretty Snoop neat. Dogg it was a neat is. moment. But uh, yes, the Mike Tyson selling stuff. I think he's actually been doing it already for a while because yes. he recently came out with the ear shaped gummies with the bite taken out oh, of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> so like the cannabis gummies that are shaped like ears with a bite taken so out of them. Why are all these like used to be celebrities that are not so irrelevant anymore coming out with old memes of themselves to do pot with? Because, Jonas, it's the nature of capitalism. When something first even has a hint of being legal, the every man isn't going to have an opportunity to get that. For people to even sell cannabis in places where it does become legal, you need to get a visa. So you're already dealing with the niche amount of people who can afford to go and get whatever certification you need to get the visa. And then you're dealing with the fact that that is not even legal in most places. So who's going to get first come, first serve? The people who already have money. The people who are at disposable income. Mike Tyson just did a fight with freaking who? Jake Paul? He's got an extra couple million dollars laying around. Yeah. Why not just buy a freaking weed company? Yeah, it's like the barrier to entry is always money. Exactly. Because you need a lot of money up exactly. front to get the proper... Exactly certifications or legalities yeah. or whatever yeah and that and that's you know and like i say man that that's kind of the nature of the beast when it comes to capitalism but we're not talking about capitalism we're talking about selling weed jonas and i would 100 percent do it if it were legal and proven to be healthy for people or helpful yeah well i mean you can sometimes uh, you don't have to smoke it if you're no, worried no. about your lungs getting messed up you could eat it. No, yeah. I mean, just get a big old sack of plant and just <laughs> <laughs> sit there and just eat it like... Just a can of spinach, huh, yeah. Jonas? <laughs> a can of spinach. <laughs> get a salad with, with some leaves I, on I, it. I probably would not use it, but I, I could see selling it. I mean, look, honestly, it, it's better than some of the alternatives that are legal. So, you know, what it is. Yeah. Do you think... Uh, the world's going to be sad when Ric Flair's no longer around. <laughs> no, Ric Flair. You know, honestly, Ric Flair just got brought up on some uh, sexual some assault. controversy. Oh, yeah. He was swinging his ding around, dude. Like a. I don't, I don't know exactly what he's doing. It was something about like a, a plane flight and him being a little, yeah, a little plane, handsy. Plane ride from hell. Yeah. Oh, you know about so it. It's a wrestling trope. It's like a real thing that happened. Oh, what happened? Tell there us. was like a. Uh, it was like a flight from like. Uh, they were in like London or something, mm -hmm. so they had a ten-hour flight home. Well, something about like the plane got delayed, but so that but they were let, but the guys were already on the plane on the runway, and they just like they were just got completely wasted like before the flight even took off. Makes they were sense. Just sitting there drinking. Yeah, it makes sense. And then like all this stuff happened like on the plane. What a whole, happened? There, there was a Dark Side of the Ring episode on this whole flight. Give us some insight. You know more about this than I know. I want to know. Uh, like they said Ric Flair was walking around in his wrestling robe with nothing underneath. And okay. He, and he cornered a flight attendant in, oh. in the back of the plane okay. and was like, touch it, touch it. You know, like one of those sort of deals. 
and uh, <laughs> just boys being boys. Just boys being <laughs> Locker boys. room yeah, talk. They, like, like, they cut off some dude's ponytail. Like they were oh. saying that uh, I think it was Brock Lesnar and Mr. Perfect were wrestling on the plane and almost bumped out, opened the door up, like because while they were flying because they were being too aggressive and like it was just yeah there was a lot of like they mm. said like Goldust got on the mic and started singing about his ex-wife or something like it was just like. And there was regular people on this plane too, not just wrestlers. Oh, this is like, this is like a I thought wrest- it was like a private. Gym, oh a private no, it flight. was like it was like a. I think so. Maybe I don't know, dude. I don't know enough but, about it. I but. mean, I'm sure there was still like regular staff or whatever on the. Yeah, plane. but the yeah. flight attendants yeah. were like, we are traumatized from all this. Yeah, stuff. I mean. I could see that. And then some people were saying that Vince was on the plane. Some people were saying he wasn't on the plane. And like, wow. Yeah, like, they got in a lot of trouble for okay, that. Okay, I did not hear about that. Yeah, I that w- happened, God, like, a long time a ago. A long time ago. Like, like, 2004 or something. Yeah. I could imagine having two wrestlers the size of Brock Lesnar. <laughs> just <laughs> wrestle on a plane. Like, who was the other big. guy? Mr. Perfect. He still is not a small man. Any no, wrestler is not a small no, man. No, no, no. Like, the smallest guys are, like, our size. Like they look tiny on TV because they're going up against dudes who are six foot nine, yeah. 350 pounds. You exactly. Know? You don't want Brock Lesnar just bumbling through your household, dude. Right. No, dude. He's, like, he yeah, trip he, and break a coffee he's table. He's, like, 6'6", six, six, like, 280 solid muscle. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. And they're, like, throwing each other around on a plane. Yeah, dude. Oh, Ric no. Flair. I mean, dude. Okay. He. What? He, uh... I imagine he's not been very kind to some people in his life. Um, no, but he, you know, he's from the time where it was kind of okay to not be that way. It doesn't absolve him of it, but it is the reason for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he was he was in wrestling in the when it was the Wild West, dude. Back then, exactly. like now now they're all like millennial nerds who like sit around and play video games and stuff at, when they're not wrestling. They used to just like do <laughs> drugs and drink and like yes, and like sexually assault people and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they just sat around like, should we drink, sexually assault somebody, or like fight or, or right? Do some like, cocaine. and now they're just like, you guys want to do a, a, a tech mobile tournament, like, yeah, yeah. you know, which is probably a lot better than. Do you really think there's a there's really been a, like a change in it, or is it just they hide it better now? Which is, what I think, I, I think the culture is different because I think a lot of the people who, let I me, mean, if you think about it, a lot of like the dudes who are wrestlers now, they do like. They have streams and stuff, so like they really are video game players. They like, yeah, they're like, yeah we'll just sit around and play games and stuff. I'm sure they party. But we didn't, like, we didn't have access to stuff like that. I'm saying, do you still think they just sit around and sexually harass? Women I don't think and, they sexually and, harass them, but there and, was and that, do cocaine. You know, there's that guy uh, uh, who who does a lot of the video game stuff, uh, Xavier Woods. Yes, that came out. There was a, the when all that stuff came out, and there was like a, a video of him banging like Paige with some other dude watching it or yeah, recording. Yeah. I mean, so they still are getting their freak on, like okay. you know. I mean, they're still men and women, and most of them are good-looking people because they're in a business where looks matter. So I mean, like you get a bunch of hot people around each other, like <laughs> cut-ass ripped dudes and hot chicks. It's the Olympics conundrum, <laughs> right? Exactly. They're they're gonna be they're gonna be banging like the Olympic Village. They always say Olympic Village is like a giant orgy because it's a bunch of like hot ass young people with like you know so i mean you know i don't know if maybe the culture of like misogyny and sexual assault of the women involved is as bad as it used to be but mm. i guarantee they're still they're still putting it down dude like i mean they're yeah. still men and women they still like to have sex dude so i mean <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I I still think it's that they're just better at hiding the deviancy. Like those, even that stuff that came out was like, how did this get out? You know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I guess it's weird because there's more exposure than ever on those guys. Like before, it was just like, yeah, oh, Hulk Hogan, he's a superhero. And then like really, he's like beating his wife and drinking in the back. You know, and nearly don't yeah. even know. You think he's just this like all American hero, mm-hmm. and you're like, no, they're. They're pieces of trash. Like I mean, a lot of these. I mean, they're humans. Any, any, any profession where you travel a lot and you go from town to town, you stay in hotels, things like that. Like, there's a lot of issues with drugs, alcohol, depression. Like, even they say like stand-up comics have a lot. Oh of it. yeah, because yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. traveling from town to town all by themselves. They don't really get you know. That sounds amazing. Yeah, right? <laughs> that sounds amazing. We should just do a traveling uh, podcast tour, and we'll just travel around. <laughs> we'll do comedy. Right, and... Yeah, you get us booked, buddy. I will, you get, us, you get us booked, and I'll show up for the show Joe's for sure. Joe's Garage, dude. Hey, 
Hey, you get us a book, dude. I have no problem showing up. I'll be there. Travel around. Be like, yeah, dude, here we are. We're on stop two of our 22 hey, city tour. Hey, yo, you know what? Honestly, we should try to get booked. And we should try to get, like, even if it's just, like, at, like, open mic night. Yeah, dude. You want to? I talked about that pre COVID for you. I was like, why, why don't we go? I go, why don't we? Why don't we go do the podcast Dang. live at bars? Have Dang. a. I would like to do a whole thing where it's like we do we do like a podcast, and then we have people that do improv. We have people oh. that do stand up, and it's a oh, whole like man. it's a whole show. and We like MC the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, like you want to like, be you want to be Nick Cannon. Yeah, yeah. So like, I'm all like weird turban and everything, dude. Sounds like you want to be Nick Cannon. I will. I am. All right. I look just like him. You Any- have to get a bunch of kids too. Yeah. Oh, gotta catch up. Wait a second. Gotta catch like up, my dude. Gotta catch up. I don't like those. Mm. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out. <laughs>